Hello DC fans, this is JAR369. Welcome back for another figure review. Today I'll be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Batman and Robin Robin figure. Made by McFarlane Toys. Finally, I'm I finally got the last figure to build Mr. Freeze, and that is Robin. So yeah. Take a look at the packaging, just the usual McFarlane Toys build a figure packaging or collect to build as McFarlane calls it and you get the DC Multiverse logo collect to build Mr. Freeze he is number three out of four on the side you get the Batman logo on the top and on the bottom oh right there there's his name and what movie he's from other side just the name DC Multiverse on the back there's the card image of Mr. Freeze and there's other characters you might collect which I already reviewed all of them and owned them. So that's about it. Let's take out Robin out of the package. Here is Robin out of the package, ready to fight crime. But before I take a look at the figure, let's take a look at the, uh, the Build-A-Figure piece that Robin comes with. He does come with the left arm and right arm, the left and right arm of Mr. Freeze. So they are already connected because I had to redo this video again. And yeah, there he is, Mr. Freeze, all ready to fight Batman and Robin and serving for Poison Ivy. So yeah, a review of this figure will be coming soon. But let's take a closer look at Robin here. Uh, the likeness, well, normally when I review the DC McFarlane multiverse figures, yeah, some of the, um, the head sculpt likeness to the actors are like a hit or miss. But for this one, well, I would say uh, like 50-50 chances that of this figure could be a hit. I mean, it does look like Chris O'Donnell a little bit, but it just looks alright, to be honest. Uh, take a look at his outfit here. Outfit. Well, I mean, there's nothing much on the outfit. It's just all black. You get the Robin logo right there, or Nightwing, as fans call it. And same thing on the belt there. There's like the little six pack there. And just like the Batman figure, they, well, McFarlane added the nipple, sculpted the nipples on there. Well, which is more famously in Batman and Robin, obviously. And take a look at the hands. You can see there's just a pair of fisted hands on each side. You get the um, spikes on there as well. And the cape here is made of a flexible plastic. But I really wish it was cloth. And take a look at the boots there. You can see there's like a little knee pads on the legs. And back to the boots there. You can see like a little Robin or Bat logo right there on each side of the boots. Uh, nothing much with the lower ankles. And on the bottom there's some legalese and pecos in the bottom of his feet there. Overall, for the figure itself, the, the body sculpt on this figure looks pretty good. The um the head sculpt eh, looks alright-ish, to be honest. But, nevertheless, this figure is it's, it's really good. Pretty decent. Articulation, the head does go fully rotate. There's a little ball joint there. Arms do go fully rotate, and there's like a little ball joint there as well. And does go in and out. Upper arm rotation. Double jointed elbows. And lower wrist rotation, hinge, upper wrist rotation there as well. And there's the app, upper waist movement, lower waist movement, legs stick forward and back in and out. No rotation at the upper leg because it's stuck in there. Then at the, the knees. Which is are now loose. Well, not that loose, but a little bit loose. But that's fine because I actually cut the edges there. And there's the upper leg rotation. I mean, well, the upper leg rotation. Ankle, I would say. And and, and pivot forward back and ankle pivot side to side. And a toe articulation there as well. Just the usual McFarlane DC Multiverse articulation. But you can still give him some decent amount of post abilities on this figure. Accessories, he does come with quite a few accessories besides the Build-A-Figure piece. He does come with some of the freeze effects here for for Robin. 
which when I saw a promotional image of the this piece right, right there, which I thought is supposed to be for the legs, well, but when I seen reviews of this guy, yeah, it looks like it's supposed to be for the head here. Because if you remember from the beginning of Batman and Robin, when Robin's about to grab Mr. Freeze, but Mr. Freeze quickly throws him like so. And put him like that. Come on. There we go. Just like that. You can have him do like this. Like so. Yeah. Yeah. And also he does come with a display stand. Like usual. McFarlane DC Multiverse figure does. And, well, let me put that. There we go. And also, a trading card with the picture of, from the movie poster here. And on the back, here's the bio, real name, Dick Grayson. And I'm guessing this is the same bio as the um the previous Batman and Robin figures that I reviewed from McFarlane Toys. So yeah. Overall for the figure itself, yeah, it's really not too bad at all. I say they did really a not too bad of a job with this figure. Yeah, I'm very happy that I finally completed the Batman and Robin figures. Yeah, it's it's a really a not too bad looking figure set, I would say. Well, for back for the Robin figure, the head sculpt looks all right. Could be a little bit better. The um the sculpting on the figure looks good. Articulation standard McFarlane toys articulation, but you can still give him some decent amount of possibilities. Accessories, I really like the the freeze effects that he comes with, so you can display him like being frozen by Mister Freeze. But I really wish he couldn't come with like any other accessories besides that, like an alternate hand where he holds the um crystal ball that Mr. Freeze stole from the opening of the of that film so yeah at the end of the day it's still a really not too bad figure I do definitely recommend getting this figure if you're lucky enough to find him because he's been sold out everywhere I got mine from like a, a third party seller well not like a third party seller but like ah, I forgot what's it called like it's it's not like big store company like Target or Walmart or or a big bad toy store any or anywhere. Well I got mine like from a from a website. And he was on clearance for fourteen ninety nine plus tax and shipping, so I paid like twenty buck, twenty two dollars for this figure. Yeah, yeah, it's just like the same retail as the um the regular Mc, the regular McFarlane non build a figure piece figure. So yeah. If you're looking enough finding this guy either on the retail price or on clearance, yeah, go ahead and pick him up. For my for my rate on this figure, I'm gonna I'm gonna give Robin a eight, eight out of ten for me. I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, please consider like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And follow me on Instagram and Threads. Both links will be in the description down below. That's all I have to say. This is the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Robin figure made by McFarlane Toys, and this is J A R three six nine. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on my next review. And remember, keep on collecting.